Hello, my friends. Welcome back. It is Friday, January 15th, 2021, and Drunk Hooker tis beer time. So we get some beer mail this week, a bunch of different breweries. Uh, one I uh, haven't had uh, from in a while, and I kind of missed that. Uh, boom! The All Natural Brewing Company sent along four of their LCBO available David's Tea collaboration, London Fog. They also sent along some David's Tea, Cream of Earl Grey, Rich Creamy Classics, and tea filters in this cool muggy thing. I don't know how things work, but and a spoon, baby Otis. All right. So thank you, Bose. Appreciate it. I do like tea. Funny enough, big Earl Grey tea drinker back in the day. Why? Because of Captain John Luke Picard of the USS Enterprise. Uh, 5.2% ABV. Got to bust out my Bose glass. It's been a while. You give me some full-time IPA. I haven't had that in a while. I think it's time to revisit that. A couple things. Um, Strong Patrick should be out soon, too. One of my favorite of theirs, the Irish Red Ale. Uh, yeah, so kind of a different brew here, as it were. <laughs> I should have put it... See, if I was a creative person, I would put it in the tea mug and drink it. But I'm like, but I want to use my Bose glass because I haven't used it in a while. I'm definitely getting that vanilla. Now, there is vanilla in this. If you read the back, there's cream of Earl Grey tea. There's... a uh, uh, hops, vanilla extract, so vanilla. Definitely getting kind of like a dry tea smell. Let's go. Cheers, my friends. Tea. Tea beer. Tea, tea beer. <laughs> Tibor. Blame Tibor. New guy. Cheers. Smooth. Ooh. Okay, I like that vanilla. Oddly enough, and I'm not usually a vanilla fan. Except for if it's in a bourbon barrel, like where you get that kind of vanilla, you know, but smooth. You're definitely getting that kind of Earl Grey tea note. It's very, very dry on the back. Uh, that Earl Grey has that kind of spice. Not spice. That's a terrible word. I use the wrong words. But the, the spice. Like Earl Grey spice. Uh, it, does, it tastes like like a, a smooth Earl Grey tea with vanilla. Is that is that the right thing? I mean, it's a beer, so it does have some beer notes. But, uh, yeah. Again, these kind of beers appeal to a certain segment of the population, right? Who like this flavor, you know? If you and honestly, the vanilla is kind of the seller for me. That's what delivers the kind of fun note and the teas there, like that dry tea flavor. Yeah, it's Earl Grey tea. Um, it's interesting though. It's got some floral notes. What the frig is in? Because there's stuff in Earl Grey tea. Miracles, natural flavoring, corn flowers. Because that's the floral notes. Yeah, I like it. It's fun. And again, these beers can just be fun. They don't have to be like, you know, like like when I have the stuff like the, the full time IPA, you know, like, yeah, you're, cause that's leaning into my category. But beers can just be fun to try. Like, that's a neat flavor. I like it. It's interesting. And it'll be one of those beers that I'll pull out, you know, in the middle of a, a, a day when I'm just having different different styles and it breaks it up. Because it's different, and that's fun, too. So, all right, yeah, give it a try. <laughs> I'll make some tea with my weird tea filters. Look fancy. Baby Yoda. Cheers. It's one place I'm definitely going when all this is done. When it's all over and we're able to travel. Thinking of that old, boom! It was all natural brewing company. Thank you.